I would just first like to say, I'm not a doctor. I'm not in the medical field. I'm just sharing my experience with the COVID. Everybody be welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I got the big C. So I left New York on Tuesday and my daughter uh, left New York on Tuesday. She went to LA and I came to Toronto and I felt great and everything was fine. And she texted me, no, she called me and said, mommy, I got COVID. I just tested positive. I said, okay. So it's late now, Tuesday, because we didn't get into late. So Wednesday morning, I get up and I phone around everywhere to get a COVID test and I don't have any of the rapid ones. So I thought, okay, um, finally found a place, which was hard to do, found a place. Then she came out to the car and she tested me and she said, we'll let you know as soon as possible. So while I was sitting in the car, I thought, well, let me put a food order in a grocery order and I'll um, get that delivered. Well, they said they couldn't deliver it till Thursday. And I said, no, I can just come and pick it up. So I'll just open the trunk and you guys can drop it in there. So I got all that done. And I got a pack of the COVID, uh, five pack COVID um, test too, the soft ones. So I tested myself, negative. I, I followed the instructions, negative. Then I tested again the next day, uh, Thursday now, negative. Didn't feel sick, felt totally fine. Then I tested uh, Friday morning. I got my results back negative, PCR test. Then, there you go. And then I tested again Friday morning, negative. I felt fine. And then around, I don't know, three or four in the afternoon, I felt like this horrible headache coming on. And I started feeling a little achy in the neck and stuff. So. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll just lay down for a little bit. So I went and took two Tylenol, went to my room. Well, hit me like a ton of bricks, like really hit me hard. So I was pretty much comatose for 17 hours. Didn't eat, didn't drink, didn't nothing. And I mean, I was total, had total fever. My feet felt like ice cubes. I had two pair of socks on the heating pad, the whole bit. Still couldn't get them warm. Okay, so now we're into Saturday um, and evening now because I've slept so much. Get up and thought, okay, I'll make a tea or a coffee or something warm. And I had like pajamas on and a house coat, slippers, two pairs of socks. And I'm like, I'm frozen. I was shaking. I was so cold. And I thought, maybe I won't have anything. I tried to drink some water and it almost made me feel, made me feel like I was going to vomit. So I crawled back into bed and I have two duvets. I put both on me. I crashed again. So now we're into Monday. I wake up. I feel okay. So I think, okay, I'm going to eat some oats and a berry, some berries or something. I mean, I bought groceries. haven't eaten a thing of it. Made myself a coffee and it was settling nice. And, and then waited about an hour and had some oats and a, a banana and that in it and some chia seeds. Sat down and ate that. It was fine. And I jumped in the uh, shower again. Sat there with boiling hot water on me. Still really, really achy. Um, started getting congested. Had a really bad sinus headache, I guess you'd say. And still had a slight fever. And my feet are like ice cubes. Like, I mean, frozen, solid ice cubes. And I'm like, I never heard anything about the feet. But I guess it is a symptom and I didn't know that. Um, I never heard that before. Well, I am on the mend now. I'm in day four and I'm coming back to life. Uh, no more fever. I still have a slight headache and I'm congested, but I'm not like coughing, nothing. Just a little bit of a sinus thing going on. Um, just had another hot shower. Well, actually I had a bath and just kind of soaked there for a while. Feel a little achy, but nothing like I did. Actually ate last night. Um, ate, um, I make these like vegetable Korean pancakes, ate that. It was fine. Just was lazy. Watched a couple documentaries, went back to bed, had a good sleep. Um, this morning I got up, I had oats again and the coffee. I chatted on the phone a little bit and I feel like I'm coming back to earth. So my symptoms were major headache, definitely huge fever. I mean, to the point, I think I took 10 Tylenol in two days, um, but I had to keep the fever at bay, right? 
Um, so the cold feet, fever, aches and pains. I mean, it's not aches in the muscle. It's like aches in the bones. And sore throat. A little bit of sinus. Two days of hell. And the rest is just fatigue, I guess. And that's about it. So that's my trip on COVID-19. Not pretty, guys. But it is what it is. But as crazy as this sounds, I had the best birthday ever. I wouldn't have changed a thing. So it was even worth getting sick. Nothing was really worth getting sick, but I had such a nice time in New York with my baby girl. Daughter's totally 100% said she's on the mend. She's fine. But she's like three or four days ahead of me. So, But she, it, she had almost exactly the same symptoms as me. She said she'd never been that sick in her life. So... um. I'd been that sick once before too, and that was January of 2020. And before they knew what COVID was, I was in the Dominican Republic and literally for three days, I was deathly ill. And I lived right beside the hospital. So I got up on the third day and I could have walked to the hospital. That's how close it was. I drove over, walked in and said, I'm deathly ill. Went and laid on the gurney and I'm not a hospital girl at all laid on the gurney and passed out. They did blood work, everything. And six hours later said, we don't know what's wrong with you. I thought maybe I had a parasite or something, but I didn't. I probably had COVID and nobody knew what it was then. So anyways, pretty much the same symptoms, I guess. Well, I'm alive and I'm well, and um, I'll get back to making some videos as soon as I can, but I am feeling a little bit better. Actually, I just took out uh, some chicken breast and I'm going to make myself some curry chicken and a plantain for dinner tonight. I'm going to eat some real food. Yay! Can't wait. I'm feeling hungry, craving carbs, trying to be a good girl. But yeah, there you go. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later. Um, if you have time, please like and subscribe. That would be wonderful. And uh, if there's anything to follow up for, I'll definitely post another video. And I'll let you know how this continues. Ciao!